Okay. Talk? I'm talking right now. They see me rolling. They hate Then I decided to study in Canada and I chose the University of Manitoba. I had no idea what Winnipeg is going to look like. In this video, I'm going to help people like me to get to know Winnipeg a little better. Canada is the second largest country in the world, but it only has a population of approximately 40 million. Winnipeg is located in Manitoba, the eighth largest and fifth most populous province. Manitoba is a large flat land that contains 100,000 bodies of water. Winnipeg is the largest city of Manitoba with a population of 800,000. The University of Manitoba is located in the Fort Garry area. Fort Garry South and St. Vital South are the best and safest areas for students to find accommodation. There are all major grocery stores, banks, fast food joints, and decent public transportation in these areas. Most of the people think Winnipeg's weather is always cold. But if I want to describe the weather in one word in Winnipeg, that would be extreme. Right now that I'm recording this video, we are in July and the weather is 31 Celsius. The Forks is a historic site located in downtown Winnipeg. Most people would go to the Forks to spend time with their friends and family. Most national events are located at the Forks as well. There are various buildings at the Forks for Winnipeggers entertainments, one of which is the most famous museum in Manitoba, the Museum of Human Rights. So we are uh, at the Forks right now and one of the buildings and as you can see because of COVID uh, restrictions, there are only a few people here, uh, but they are serving uh, drinks and food, but you only can see with the people in your household and only a few seats are available right now and in my country you cannot do this in public Winnipeg is also famous for being unsafe but I have been here for three years and I can say if you know your way around it's safe enough now I'm going to talk about the costs in Winnipeg this city compared to other cities in Canada is more affordable considering the fact that unlike other countries like United States, international students in Canada are allowed to work. If you're an international student and your study permit allows you to work, you can work up to 20 hours a week during your studies and 40 hours a week if you're taking the summer off. Cost of living in Winnipeg depends on the way you live. On average, a decent one-bedroom apartment near the University of Manitoba costs monthly between eight to nine hundred dollars other things like food and other expenses lie somewhere between five to seven hundred dollars the tuition fee for the University of Manitoba can be found in University of Manitoba's website tuition fee depends on various factors like your field of study and your degree here I have an estimate for an undergraduate student for one year I should also mention there are bus routes from all around the city to the University of Manitoba the University of Manitoba offers bus pass for the students. You can purchase the bus pass based on your need monthly, for a semester, or for a year. If you're not interested in bus pass that university offers, you can also pay $3 for each trip. Due to Winnipeg's extreme weather, buses are frequently late or sometimes they don't even show up. The University of Manitoba is the largest university of this province and the 17th largest university of Canada. This university offers hundreds of degrees and it contains dozens of faculties. The main building of the University of Manitoba is the University Center. The University Center includes a bookstore, a small grocery store, a food court, and a dozen more other things to make the students' lives easier. Okay, we are going inside of the University Center right now. I have to have my mask on because still there is some COVID restrictions. The University Center, uh, as I said before, has a lot of good uh, things for students, I would say, like restaurants, all the offices and stuff. 
You're going to go inside and take all of them together. <laughs> it's locked. <laughs> that one. <laughs> well, I guess we're not going inside. <laughs> Why is it? What is it? <laughs> Let me in. What's open as of July 5th? Pharmacy, bookstore, it's not. July 5th, right? Yeah, it's July 13th. Till 4 p.m. Well, I guess we're not going to. Uh, uh, epic fate. <laughs> okay, maybe we can go from there. We don't have to walk outside because it's cold. It's Winnipeg and it gets to minus 50 degrees Celsius. So we use the tunnels to go to different buildings uh, in the university campus. So now we are just going to see what we can do. So that's the entrance, uh, the, the engineering entrance from the tunnels. Uh, and now we are going to see if we can get inside the university center from the tunnel. So most of the doors are closed and most of the buildings are closed due to COVID. But as you can see, tunnels are like this. This is the tunnel that we use during winter. Most of the buildings in university have access to the tunnels. We can use it not to freeze. After my failure, I decided to take a walk in university campus to show you guys around. University of Manitoba's campus has a few buildings, so if your degree requires you to get various subjects, then you need to change various buildings to get to your next class. Libraries are one of the most important parts of each university. University of Manitoba has 12 libraries. The main library of the Fort Garry campus is the Elizabeth Daffo Library. This library has three floors, and each floor has its specific characteristics. For example, in first floor, you can study, talk to your friends, and eat food. But in second floor, you're not allowed to eat anything, and also, you only can talk quietly to the person next to you. In the third floor, you're not allowed to talk at all. In and around Elizabeth Daffo Library, there are various restaurants and coffee shops. In case you need a break to eat something or drink a cup of coffee, you have access to anything you want.
This university also offers accommodation for the students. There are on and off campus student residences. The main student residence is called Pemina Hall Residence. To be honest, it's a little expensive. These are the prices that I gathered from the University of Manitoba website. People in the province are really nice. That's why Manitoba is called the friendly Manitoba. A stressing out before arriving to the city is totally normal. But keep that in mind that people here will always help you and have your back. Overall, the city is not as horrible as some people think it is. Yes, it's true, the weather is not pleasant. But there are other things that the city offers to make you remember it forever. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment it for me. I will definitely answer as much as my knowledge allows. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in next video.